Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're revisiting an interesting project, a large font digital clock using an LCD display. You might be wondering why I am making this video again. Well, let me tell you a little story. A year ago, I uploaded this project and many of you tried it out, but I received a lot of comments saying that the buttons were not working properly, the code wasn't compiling, or the display wasn't showing correctly. That's why I'm back with this video. This time, uh, I will explain the basic working of this project, fix the common issues, and ensure that by the end of this video, you can successfully build this clock without any errors. So, let's get started. As we made this project earlier, there's no change in the overall circuit, but let's go through the updated connections to ensure everything is correct. The 16x2 LCD display is connected in 4-bit mode without an I2C module. Here's how the wiring is done. VCC is connected to 5 volts on the Arduino to provide power. GND is connected to the GND pin of the Arduino. RS, register select, is connected to pin 2 of the Arduino. EN, enable, is connected to pin 3 side of the Arduino. D4, D5, D6, and D7 data pins are connected to pins 4, 5, 6, and 7, respectively. Since we are using 4-bit mode, only these four data pins are required instead of all eight, which helps reduce the number of connections. Now let's complete the LCD backlight connections. The backlight of the 16x2 LCD requires two connections. One, VCC power, connect to five volts on the Arduino to power the backlight. Two, GND ground, connect to GND on the Arduino to complete the circuit. These connections ensure that the LCD LCD remains illuminated, making the displayed text clearly visible. Now we need to add three push buttons from the Wakui components library. To make the circuit visually clear, we will duplicate the first push button and change its color. This will help differentiate their functions easily. Each button will later be connected to a specific digital pin of the microcontroller. Now that the push buttons are added, we can move on to the next step. Now let's properly connect the push buttons. First, take one pin of each push button and connect them together. Then link this to the 5 volts pin of the Arduino. This ensures that all buttons receive power when pressed. Next, take the other pin of each push button and connect a 10 kilo ohms pull-down resistor to GND. This resistor helps keep the signal low when the button is not pressed, preventing unwanted interference. Additionally, the same pin where the resistor is connected should be linked to an Arduino digital input pin. This way, when the button is pressed, the input reads high, 5 volts, and when released, it reads low, 0 volts, steroid, ensuring reliable button detection. Now, let's connect the push buttons to the Arduino. The set button is connected to D8. The up button is connected to D9. The down button is connected to D10. Each button's output pin, the same pin where the pull-down resistor is connected, should be linked to the respective digital input pin on the Arduino. This setup allows the Arduino to detect button presses and adjust the display accordingly. Now that the hardware setup is complete, let's move to the coding part. The code hasn't changed much, except for one important modification. I added a lay to the button presses to handle button bounce. This ensures that when a button is pressed, it's only registered once, preventing multiple unwanted presses. In the code, the pins for the buttons are defined, and each button press triggers a specific action, such as adjusting the time. The LCD display updates accordingly, showing the current time. The small delay between each button press helps prevent errors caused by rapid fluctuations in the button signal. This simple addition ensures the project works smoothly. Now that you can see the display, let's move on to adjusting the time. To set the time, press the set button. When the display stops blinking, you can adjust the hour. Press the set button again, and it will move to the next field to adjust the minutes. After that, you can set the date, which can be adjusted from 1 to 31. You can also decrease the date if needed. Press Set again to move to the month adjustment. For the month, the display shows numbers from scarf 1 to 9, and after 9, it will show the initials of the month, 0, 
for October, N for November, and D for December. If you press the set button once more, it will move back to the hour field, allowing you to adjust the time in a loop if needed. This process makes it easy to set the current time and date accurately. This project is useful for various applications where accurate timekeeping is essential. By modifying the same code, it can be used in different projects such as time-based light control, a compact desk clock, or even an alarm clock. The push-button-based time adjustment makes it easy to set and modify the time and date as needed. It is ideal for automatic systems, timers, attendance tracking, and home automation projects. Uh, I hope this video has helped you understand the working and coding behind this project. If you have any doubts or face any issues, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you for watching, 